Hello friends, my name is Dr. Swapna and I am practicing in Pune. Now today I will be discussing about hair loss. As we all know, hair is a very important organ. It has got cosmetological as well as psychological impact in our routine life. Hair is actually made up of protein. Now the hair cycle is basically made up of three phases. Anagen phase, catagen phase, telogen phase and another last phase which is an extension of a telogen phase also called as a exogen phase. So actually the anagen phase is the growing part of the hair. Almost 90% of our scalp hair are in anagen phase. Now the second phase which is called as a telogen phase, it is called as a resting phase where actually hair stops growing and then this from the catagen phase hair goes into the telogen phase in which actually hair shedding occurs that is in telogen phase in exogen phase. Now hair is made up of a protein and there are multiple causes of a hair loss. Hair loss can be divided into two types. Either it could be diffuse hair loss or it could be localized hair loss. In diffuse hair loss, there will be loss from the entire scalp. While in localized form, there will be patchy hair loss and we can see the patches of loss of hair. Again, in patchy hair loss or uh, localized hair loss, it is divided into two types. Whether there is a scarring that is damage to the underlying skin is present or not present. If it is not present, which is called as a non-scarring hair loss or alopecia areata, so the skin underlying is normal and we can take a proper treatment with intralegional steroid injection or other treatment modalities from a dermatologist. When it is a scarring hair loss, there are some conditions such as lichen planus, discoid lupus erythematosus, trauma. So in that cases, the underlying skin get damaged and hair follicles are permanently destroyed. In such a cases, regrowth of a hair is little difficult, so surgical modality needs to be tried. Now coming to the diffuse hair loss. Now diffuse hair loss is more common and more worrisome. Again it is of mainly two types. One is telogen effluvium which we see commonly. Another is androgenic alopecia which is hormonal alopecia. Now in telogen effluvium when we uh, undergoing some kind of surgery, any physical trauma, mental trauma, exam, stress. After such an episode, after 2-3 to three months, patient will suddenly start losing hair. That is because of a sudden transition of all the anagen hair into telogen hair. So patient will experience severe hair loss. The patient will have more and more stress and that stress will lead to more and more hair loss. So in such a condition, actually patient should consult dermatologist as early as possible and take proper treatment. Because the causes of hair loss like telogen effluvium are different. Sometimes there will be some hormonal imbalance so we need to rule out underlying diabetes, underlying thyroid abnormalities. Sometimes history of any medical illness or history of hospitalization 2-3 two, three, two, three months back. So in that case the treatment is slightly different. So we need to rule out the underlying uh, medical condition which is responsible for causing such kind of hair loss. The, in hair loss, the what is more important is the proper diet. So as we all know, the hair is made up of a protein. So patients should have high protein diet. So it is available in both vegetarian as well as non-vegetarian diet. In non-vegetarian diet, all, uh, all forms of a chicken, eggs will help the patient. While in vegetarian diet, sprouts, paneer or ready-made available protein uh, formula uh, powder that can be used. Another thing is using proper hair wash regular hair wash. Sometimes the patient feels that there is excess of hair loss and they just stop washing their hair regularly. So in that cases, the patient should wash hair at least twice in a week. They should use a good conditioner after washing their hair. Avoidance of a harsh chemical treatment to the hair. So straightening of the hair, coloring of the hair or some kind of a fashioning or designing with the hair. That is also harmful practices. So that practices needs to be avoided. So good balanced diet stress management, good exercise and avoidance of a chemical treatment to the hair will uh, help in get good hair growth. Along with that, if there is certain medical conditions which are responsible for causing hair loss, so those supplementations, so available, uh, biotin supplement, application of a pro uh, other hair tonics which can be applied by the patient over the skull uh, that can be helpful for the patient. In case of a androgenic alopecia, which is also called as a male pattern or female pattern or pattern hair loss, that is generally a hormonal hair loss. So in that condition, certain topical treatments such as topical minoxidil or oral tablets are available. 
If that is not helpful, the next treatment such as platelet-rich plasma therapy, mesotherapy, these treatments are available. And finally, the last resort is hair transplant, which can be treated. So what is more important is if we are having hair loss, if the patient is having hair loss, rather than going for a local remedies, application of a different types of oils or some kind of local uh, application, which will cause more damage to the hair, the patient should consult a doctor, a proper baseline uh, investigation, a good diet, exercise and proper treatment will help in curing the hair loss, which will take a longer time, at least three to six months of a regular treatment is required that will help the patient very well. Thank you friends and take care of your health as well as your hair. Thank you.